Hey everybody, this is Carl from CarlsAppsy.com here with another, with another tutorial and today I'm just going to show you how you can install Python 3.3.3 on a Mac computer or laptop. Now before we can actually start the actual download from the internet, we're first of all going to have to turn off, uh, we're going to have to first of all allow the computer to download applications from the internet and not purely the app store. So the way we can do this is uh, we can go to our system preferences, which is here, and all we're going to do is click on security and privacy. We're going to unlock. We're going to unlock, so we're going to press unlock here because this will allow us to make changes at the moment. Now it says over here, allow apps to be downloaded from. And all we want to do is click from anywhere because this is not an identified developer. Well, apparently not. So if you are clicked on this or this, just change it and put it to anywhere. And it will say allow from anywhere. And you want to say yes. And then relock it. Relock your settings. So that way, if you want to unlock them, then you have to put a password in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Google. And all we're going to do is simply type in python.org. And we're going to come to this website here. Now we're going to click on the left hand panel and click download. And since we're running a Macintosh or a Mac OS X uh, device, such as a MacBook Pro or a uh, MacBook Air or whatever, then just make sure you know which what kind of computer system you're running, if it's 32 bit or 64 bit. I know my computer is 64 bit, therefore I've gone ahead and downloaded the 64 bit version. And in my download section, it comes up here. So it will take a few minutes to download. It takes about two, two odd minutes to download. Open it, and you'll get to the python.mpkg. And we're just going to quickly brush through this. Agree. And it says here it's going to take up 81.2 megabytes of space, and it's going to install it to your Macintosh HD. Again, since you're installing an application from an external source, and that's not from the iTunes store even, uh, it's going to keep asking you for, to put in a password every time you want to install an application like this. So don't be worried every time this happens. So over here it says the installation was successful and the software was installed. So you can go ahead and close this, and close this, and you can go back to your home page and if you go back to your launch pad you'll see over here now that the Python idle is installed here so we can go ahead and open this and let's just quickly full screen it okay now if you click on the left hand panel here uh, if you click on the top toolbar where you see the name idle and you can press preferences because what's going to happen is when you actually first of all install Python for the first time, this writing above and any piece of code that you actually type in will actually be a lot smaller. So you actually you have to physically make it bigger unless you don't mind the writing being quite small. So over here it just says size. So you can make it as big or as small as you want. Personally I like to leave it at 16 because it seems like an adequate size to use and as well because I'm making all the tutorials on here it'll make it easy for you guys to read. Uh, thank you very much for watching if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below or if you go into my website on my contact me page you can drop me an email. Thank you very much for watching this is Carl from CarlSapsy.com